Negative Pressure Wound Therapy, or NPWT, is a type of dressing therapy that uses sub-atmospheric pressure on wounds in a closed system. Pressure can be applied in either an intermittent or continuous manner. There are now many commercially available options and indications, but they all follow this same basic principle. Some variations also cleanse the wound with an antimicrobial solution at different intervals in combination with suction. Utilizing NPWT, patients can be discharged from acute care settings faster with an advanced dressing that does not have to be changed daily. Studies have shown that NPWT improves the speed of wound closure by increasing new blood vessel formation, managing fluid balance, and developing healthy tissue. It also helps to bring the edges of the wound closer together and with infection control. This treatment option can be used for many types of wounds, including surgical wounds, acute or chronic wounds, pressure wounds, and surgical incisions. It should be avoided or discussed with the wound care specialist for wounds with uncontrolled infections or when blood vessels, organs, nerves, or fistula are exposed. Also, if hemostasis has not been achieved or if the tissue on the wound bed bleeds very easily, NPWT should not be used as the suction pressure will increase the risk of continuous blood loss. Patients should also be advised to seek medical attention immediately if bright red blood is noticed in the canister. Let's go over the general application steps for NPWT. First, assess, measure, and document wound characteristics before application. Prepare the wound bed by cleansing and removing any non-viable tissue. Make sure that all bleeding is controlled and stopped. Dry and protect the skin surrounding the wound. Choose the sponge that best fits the size of the wound and does not touch the intact skin. Apply adhesive carefully to prevent air leaks. Place the suction mechanism following the manufacturer's directions. Make sure that the tubing is not in a location where it can accidentally be removed. Turn on the device and settings based on the recommendations for the type and location of the wound. Check again for air leaks and patch if needed. Schedule dressing changes based on the manufacturer's instructions and the anticipated amount of wound drainage. Make sure that the patient has an alternative dressing available and contact information in case the device stops working before the next change. Well, that brings us to the end of our med mastery course. Thank you for following along and good luck on your next wound care patient. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.